In this clip, we're going to talk about the proper service procedure for removing and replacing a rear axle U-joint on a Ford Explorer. In this step, we're going to talk about reinstallation of our drive shaft into the back of the transmission and onto the pinion flange. As you can see, As you can see there's one spline in here that's twice the size of all the other ones. That's called a keyway spline. That matches up with the output shaft of the transmission. This drive shaft goes on only one way. You're going to want to make sure to line that spline up before you slip this back into the transmission. I'm going to duck underneath the vehicle now and install my drive shaft. All right, I'm going to go ahead and slide the drive shaft into the back of the transmission. Slide it all the way forward. You're going to need that room when you lift the rear portion up and slide it where it goes. As you can see, my pinion flange has moved out of alignment with my index mark on the yoke. So what I'm going to do is roll that down until they're lined up. You can see the index marks on my drive shaft here. It's going to indicate the proper alignment for my drive shaft. You're going to slide it into place like so. You may have to turn it a few degrees to get the very proper alignment right there. That is the proper way to reinstall your drive shaft on the vehicle. 